Wait, 26 below zero out there. This is the only window in this apartment I could get open out of all three. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna be tossing my hose out there. I'm gonna move my van over to that side. Thankfully, I got an opening. I can make it work there. But I'm gonna get my vacuum hoses hooked up, and um, I'm going to then show you how, coming out of my side port hole on my door, I hook a rope up and I can pull that thing up here and keep the line from freezing and get working right away. Okay, honestly, I'm gonna have my connector hooked up there, ready to go, my hose there. If for some reason I didn't have the free spray I wanted to or in between jobs, I'm just gonna put a connector on the end free flowing out into that vacuum hose to keep things from freezing if I had to, but I think I got plenty of time. I'll hook up to that and start spraying and won't dilly dally. Okay, my rope has a tight end on it. Imagine I'm gonna go hook up the hose outside. I'm just gonna get this inside of that. And then when I get out there, you probably won't be able to see this. I'm gonna put it on the end of the hose, get it snug, and start lifting it up above. So I'm gonna chuck that end out right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna show you what I got going here. There's my uh, rope right there going through. I like to get it on top of the larger hoses. The rope just so you know, so it doesn't get tangled. I'm going through the porthole, got the hose in here. Okay, before I take this hose out, you've seen me do this before, but I'm gonna start it up and heat it up. Right now I'm just gonna blow it into here. Let's do that. So, I'm gonna get hot water. Now I've been cleaning for a while today. So, uh, I've got it fairly heated up a little bit. It'll start rising, start getting more heat, you know. So I'm going to do that. I'll be right with you. Shut that off. Make sure the hose is good and heated. I'm going to tie that line on it. All right, I am going to take that simulator end off there. You could sometimes leave an open one on it and trickling outside if you need it, but we won't. We'll just have it heated up. We'll do this. I'll take it off, and I'm going to get it ready to feed out the door. Okay, sometimes it's better off to keep it right there ready to go and hope for everything to work out. All right, we're stationed, kind of ready, ready there. Get that out of the way. So there's our rope. Here's our line. So we're gonna pull this puppy up. Start getting that going. I have plenty of slack, just in case. All right, so here we're going for the money. And I'm doing this one-handed, so I'm not gonna be as quick, guys. All righty, on your marks, and here we go. Up. All right, to get the point, I'm setting you down, I'm gonna hit it. There it is. Let's get her hooked up and spraying. So, ta-da. We'll get some water flowing. Sorry for the one-handed mess, but there, we are in business. And I even have plenty of time to clean up my mess and keep pre-spraying. That's how you do it. It's tough. Minnesota tough, baby. Still cold. All right, just finished up. I'm actually gonna take advantage of wrapping my hose up since I got most of it here in this 50 foot lead line. While it's warm, the rest of it I'll chuck down there. I'll get downstairs and uh, shut that thing off and get it wrapped up and head to my next one. 